One thing I find that really weirds me the fuck out is that motherfucking the people that listen to the music have more of an opinion <laughs> than we do. You know what I'm saying? That shit is funny. Y'all niggas are sit. I used to laugh at motherfuckers for real. Like, yo, you and you is fighting over me and Chris, and me and Chris don't even fucking fight. <laughs> the world is very funny. You know what I'm saying? And y'all would say, Shan, you talking shit. But y'all allow this nigga to talk all the shit that he want. Like motherfucking the nigga is unquestionable. I'm the best. And nobody says shit. I think all y'all niggas scared of that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm the best. Number one in the world. You are the number one MC, motherfucker. You are. Because a nigga like me is a lyricist. And that's all I'm going to say on the end of this. We done shot past versus I'll never get a chance to fucking go against you. You done already turned me down 12 times already. So I'll never get that chance. So I'm just going to sit back and enjoy my retirement. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to enjoy my shit with a whistle. Thank y'all very much for popping in and fucking with your man Shizzle. But like I said, hip-hop game, that shit was good for hip-hop. Now, if that nigga would have motherfucking did something worldly instead of just thinking about the crowd at hand because the crowd at hand was his winning factor so he thought where well, Kane showed a little bit of eloquence in the end of, in the end of the day where he just let his words speak for themselves. he didn't have to yell at the people he didn't have to ah, ah, ah. and that's all I'm saying but I'll never get that chance because like I said, you love to hear the story again and again. Nigga, you sounded like some other shit when you sat and sang that South Bronx. And you ain't even mentioned my name, nigga. I would have gladly mentioned yours. <laughs> you you kind of whispered that shit. <laughs> shit. 